Welcome to our second week of research writing class. And this week, you want to pay attention to just a few key points we focused on. The first one is I really went into depth on the average length of time, page numbers, etc., uh, that a thesis really requires. This is probably the biggest problem students have is understanding just how long they need to do this kind of work. They always way, way underestimate that. So that's one thing I focused on. The next thing is I went into the APA manual, the guidelines for the APA style guides, and I actually spent time looking at something that may seem trivial to uh, professors in general, table of contents and index. Uh, it may not be widely understood that Chinese books rarely have indexes. Uh, even in the West, I think we take this for granted that indexes are in books. But good indexes and bad indexes are really different. So I focus on index, how to use the index with the APA style guide. It's something Chinese students are not really familiar with. And as we saw in our class, one of our students, I think it was Michelle, actually mentioned, yeah, Chinese books have index dictionaries. It's just such a special case, the way Chinese dictionaries are organized and how they use cross-referencing and indexes, that that's what students are familiar with. So producing, uh, introducing indexes is not strange or unusual, it's just that they're not used to them being in regular books. So I spend time on that. The other thing I focus on is the Gantt Project software. And so we go into the Gantt Project software to show them how to use that. And to my great uh, surprise, a lot of students really had pretty good starts on their Gantt software. I just did enough to introduce to them a few points saying, you know, you can do this kind of arrows, uh, preliminary work, things that are uh, prerequisites to certain kinds of uh, work, how you can line that up inside the Gantt project. Students were not necessarily familiar with that, but I let them begin. And I especially like the opportunity to have some students show other students and even show me how to do things, like how they colored it and how they got different kinds of options, how they got words above and below lines. So that's an emphasis I focused on in this class, letting students bring things out. Lastly, we focused on uh, bringing up that there was some written homework this week and that some students didn't finish that. I like to bring this up early in the semester, get it over with, because after this we're going to plow through every week. Lots and lots of writing to do. Now one of the things I did do in class where we're doing the Gantt that you might want to see is I actually have with me what I've prepared for a few years now is a nice long VGA cable here. <laughs> you can see, I've got a whole bunch of cable here. So this VGA cable has got to be about ooh, at least 10 meters long. And I've used, I bought it this long because I used it in some really big classrooms before. And what I do is I simply ask students to bring their computers with them and then they hook that up to their VGA. Or in recent years, I've had to have a VGA to HDMI adapter and I also need an adapter to the lightning adapter uh, for a Thunderbolt adapter for Apple, which is uh, that little tiny one. So I take this into class and I run it right into the monitor, or if we have a projection system, run it into that. And students just plug in and I can see exactly what they're doing and we can share it with the other students. This is a great way to get things done. Now, one little hint I want to tell you about. The cable I bought is a nice long cable and it's thick, really thick, not easy to be twisted or ruined. That's really a key point. Uh, however, another key point is that if you buy a good cable like that and then you just give it to students to plug in, uh, that could present a problem because as they go to plug in that VGA. Not so much today, a lot of computers, all new computers are HDMI anyway. That's much easier, much safer. But if they're using VGA, the problem is as they go to play, plug that VGA plug in, you can see those pins, there's many pins in there. They're easy to get twisted. And students' uh, video might not be very clear or the color's off because it's not connected well. And what they'll do is they'll jam it in harder and harder and twist it, and those pins get uh, twisted. So rather than take a chance on my long multimeter 
a long cable, which is really good quality. What I do then is I just have a short one. You've probably got a bunch of these lying around. They come with monitors left and right. Uh, they're not the digital signal cable. They're just the regular VGA cable. And so what I have are two male VGA endings. And I buy a small adapter to the end, which is a male to male. And then I can hook this up here. So I have my nice big long cable like this leading to a kind of normal short VGA cable. This is the one then that they plug into the computer. So if this gets mistreated, misused, bent, I can always fall back on finding another one of these regular short VGA cables. Easy to find, I got tons of them lying around just from having monitors and uh, you know, that solves that problem. So for the HDMI, I just have an adapter. You plug the HDMI adapter in and then students just put that into their HDMI and you're good to go. It's a great way, a really good way to have students participate in class and for you to actually kind of have a cold calling on them. Hey, uh, Eric, hey, Joanne, hey, Jim, uh, let me see what you're doing. And it comes right up on their monitor. It's great. And it keeps students involved. It's a, it also allows you to have com computers, have students have their PCs in the room without them being able to kind of get distracted on uh, other social networks or shopping or something because they're just about to have their name called and plug in their computer. So it's a great way to kind of focus that down and get that going. I have not been able to find a better way for students to share their work with you on a computer. Bringing it up to the front of the room is so much trouble, so awkward, it takes so much time. I love this just having that cable. So uh, keep your eye out for that. And uh, today's activity is quite good. Students were quite participative, I felt and they kind of have a interest in the class. Uh, hopefully as we move forward we're going to get more of students doing things and less of me talking. But for a while we're going to focus on the APA and getting those ideas generated. Mm -hmm.